Hey guys, what's up? Hey, there's my hubby there. So listen guys, so I'm making dinner right now and uh, I've made this dish before so I'm going to show you guys what I um, actually use with this dish to make it. So give me a second. So with this dish, I use uh, one box of Elbow's macaroni, one full box. This is what? 16 ounces, so that's one pound. I also use one Saison Goya adobo pack. I use that as well. I also use one pack of brown gravy mix. You can use whatever brand you like. I also use one can of uh, canned mushrooms and also one can of stewed tomatoes. Okay, so all of this is going to go together inside of this amazing wok. Right now, ooh, ah, e, ah, I have some ground turkey cooking. This is not ground beef. This is ground turkey. Usually I use ground turkey because it cuts the fat, so I don't have to use so much fat. You know, I don't have to have so much fat. So it's ground turkey. And the color that you see in here, I just took this out just to show you. It's, a, it's this Saison Goya pack right here. So the color that you see in there is this. This takes it to another level. I also use... Um, some a little bit of salt a little bit of seasoning salt right here I've got my new rice cooker that I just bought shortly and in here it's just some water that's getting hot for the pasta okay and over here I have some more all of my seasonings and stuff so I use a little bit of seasoning salt you can use whatever you like whatever brand you prefer this is a, a Dollar Tree brand actually um, you can add some ground paprika in there. You can add a little bit of chili powder, but uh, it's best to keep it as simple as possible. You also want to make sure you add some Italian seasoning as well. So make sure you put some Italian seasoning in there. I also have some Trinity here. I have some fresh uh, sliced up jalapeno, some fresh sliced up garlic, and some fresh onions that have been chopped up. And so they're waiting for me. So while this meat cooks in the wok, while this, sorry, while this ground turkey cooks in the wok, I'll let the water get hotter and I'm going to add the uh, pasta to it. Be back soon. Pasta's in. Stirring that up. And my rice cooker. I love this new rice cooker. I have a much smaller one, but this one is much bigger, so that's why I like this one. So I'm stirring it up in there. If you want to, you can always add a little bit of oil to it to keep it from sticking if you think that that rumor works. Some people says it works. Some people says it doesn't work. But sometimes I add it. If I make spaghetti, I usually add some olive oil for the flavor and I add salt to my water. Of course, I always salt my water. Okay. Looks like I've got to go in my freezer and get some frozen veggies out. Oh, there's one right there, right there on top. That's what I need. So if you're sure that your meat is done and mine is... I'm going to add all of my Trinity in there. All of that in there. Get that garlic in there. Yes, sometimes I use um, styrofoam because I don't like doing dishes. And the dishes have already been done for tonight. So yeah, see there? Empty sink. And I just used that knife so I cleaned it and just one little tray here. Back to the food. So we're stirring that up. Now what I'm using instead of water, I got a little mushroom juice here from this can. I'll use that to wet it a little bit. And stir that up and get these veggies sauteed in here. Really good. Cook that down. I also got my pasta right there. Still cooking. Right there. Still cooking. You want to use as much fresh ingredients as you like. So if you don't want to use the canned mushrooms, you don't have to. You can totally use fresh. I just forgot to order fresh, but you can totally use fresh mushrooms. It's better, actually. Add a little bit of water. It's starting to dry out a little bit. I'll use this cup later on for a cup of tea. It's a brand new cup. Remember, this is ground turkey, but you can use ground beef if you want. This is how he acts when I'm in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> Okay, time to add those mushrooms. Get them all, get them all, get them all. I said I forgot to buy fresh, so.
canned it is. And that's okay. It's still a delicious dish. Stir all those in with those sautéing onions and peppers and garlic. Remember, that's the trinity. Mmm, yummy. Looks good. So, guess what we're going to add now? That can of stewed tomatoes. Pour all that in there. And mix this all in. Yummy. That. Bubbling. You want that to cook good, just like that. Let that cook down with those tomatoes in there. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Pasta. It's boiling. Yep. It's cooking down. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Remember that bag of frozen vegetables that I had? Remember that? Now is the time. Add that all in there. And because they're frozen, they're going to give off their own water because it needs a little bit more liquid in here. You can thaw them out if you like, but because they're frozen, Adobo, Goya adobo. Gotta add it. You want to taste good? Gotta add it. Ground paprika. 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 <laughs> Sorry, guys. Gotta add it. You want some more kick? Cayenne. Gotta add cayenne. I already added a jalapeno in there, so I don't need that much cayenne. See that? Stir that all in. Mix it all in. Mix it all in. That's got all the seasonings mixed in it. It's got everything mixed in. Those veggies got to cook down a little bit more. So we're going to let them do their thing. Over here. Pasta boiling. Over here. Meat cooking. Yikes! I forgot something. Italian seasoning. Ooh, I forgot something else. I forgot something else, guys. Look what I forgot. Extra virgin olive oil. Ay. Gotta add just a cap of that in there. Just a cap of the extra virgin olive oil. Remember that gravy pack I showed you earlier? This gravy pack right here? Guess what? It's gonna go inside of that can right there, and I'm gonna make a gravy out of it. That's right, and it's gonna go inside of that pot. Now that we're sure that those frozen vegetables that I added in there are totally thawed, time for the gravy. Now remember that can that you saw me pour the gravy in? That I was going to pour the gravy mix in? This can right here. The reason why I use the can is because I don't have to make another dish. This can was, this can was washed out and cleaned very well after I put the tomatoes out. It does not have a can taste or anything like that. It's totally sealed on the inside. So, I use this can and mix the gravy down in here. Save on dishes. So this kind of becomes a one pot meal. So we're gonna stir that all in. Mix that down really good. Make sure the peppers and everything are in good. I made this dish up on my own. I'm always coming up with creative things. No, I don't wanna do a cooking channel, but um, I wanna share this dish with you guys. It is absolutely amazing. Look at that, see that thickness in there now? It's gorgeous, and the pasta is going to get poured right in this, this roaring, bubbling pasta. It's going to get poured right inside of that dish, and it's going to stick like nobody's business. It's going to stick to this pasta like the fat to my ass. <laughs> I have had this wok for years, and it has not let me down yet. And it's time for pasta. Yummy. Get all that. Shake all that in there. Shake all that. Shake it. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so the pasta's been added, and it's thickening up right now. Remember, it has to re-thicken because we added that pasta, and it had a little bit of water in it. So we're just letting that gravy thicken up some more. Also, when you add the pasta, you might taste it and determine that it's a little bit less seasoned as it was when you first made just the mix by itself. Add some adobo to it. You can add it with pepper or without pepper. It's up to you. 
So I'm going to sprinkle a light dusting of adobo on top. You do not have to do this, but if you want it to have a really good seasoned flavor to it, then by all means, all means, add some adobo to it. And just stir that up really good. And this is going to cook for another five minutes, five to ten minutes, while the gravy thickens in it. And like I said, once again, this is ground turkey. You don't have to use ground turkey. You could totally use beef or chicken, whatever you like. In my opinion, if you're going to use chicken, you can use chicken breast if you're trying to be healthy. But if you want it to be a little bit more juicier, then definitely, by all means, add uh, chicken thigh meat, something like that. Yeah, add a dark meat. All right, guys. So this looks delicious. I'm going to let this cook down some more. Get it all in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a pleasure making it for you. And don't forget, like I said before, if you don't want to use um, canned mushrooms, you don't have to. You can use fresh, fresh baby portobellos or fresh white mushrooms, whatever you want to. Just make sure you clean them good and cut them down to size. But yeah, this is a delicious pasta meal that I came up with. I created this myself. I didn't get this from anyone. So yeah. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next video guys. Bye! I got the delicious pasta right here. It's so good. You guys gotta try it. Mm. Oh, it's so hot. It's so good guys. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Okay. Mm. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye!